Alrighty guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Elite Revival Reads Reads Leads Rebuild series. If you guys have been enjoying the series, uh thank you very much for watching, liking the video, subscribing to the channel. It's, it's appreciate all the support on the videos guys. And uh yeah, so we have been busy. We have changed the tactics. We have completely changed the tactics, and uh, we're going with this gang and press. We're keeping with the gang and press. I, I want to be, I want to be on the front foot. You know, I want to be very, very good at um, being able to attack teams and and getting the ball back early, kind of like the Jurgen Klopp style of play. But yeah, so it's going to be a really, really fun experience, I believe. We also managed to get our deadline day signing. It's a loan signing called Matthias Svanberg, and this lad looks unbelievable. I will, I will be surprised if we don't get this guy on a, a permanent deal. And it's 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 proven one of the it could be one of the best signings that we ever make on Football Manager. Like, I don't have the funds at the minute. But if we ever get nine to ten million, and maybe because he does play here, he maybe will get a bit more expensive, but he will be absolutely insane. Moving on with other stuff, uh, it was just recently an international break, and uh, I was noticing that the international rammed up, Cody Drema getting a star and a rating for the under in the England team. Stuart Dallas played 90 minutes for Northern Ireland. Excuse me. Uh, Phillips getting a goal on his mark, hitting... The target against, is that, was that Albania? Wow, they hit 12 against San Marino. That is unbelievable. I hate England. <laughs> I really hate England. Let's see how Scotland got on, because I've seen Liam Cooper doing something. Cooper off the mark. Uh, I'd be quite surprised if Scotland done well. Okay, so they won those games, but we didn't actually play a part with them once. Wow, they beat Denmark. Wow. Che Adams getting the goal. Fairy Islands 5 0. Billy Gilmore, Ryan Gold. And Dykes Burke and McBurney. And 7 1 against Moldova. What does that do for them? They're only second in the table. Wow. Wow, only second in the table. Why are they only second? Uh. Austria haven't lost a game. They've only drawn one. And that was to Israel. Wow. Scotland scoring 15 goals. It's just ridiculous though, by the way. Ridiculous. I'm stunned. But you never know. Anything is possible. Come the new... Uh, come this, this, this game anyway. Never know. We might see Scotland go away and uh, qualifying and... And topping the group and, and winning the World Cup. Ha, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, so we're going to play the two games today in this episode. Episode number three. And hopefully we can come away with the rewards of beating Everton. Who look like they're having just as bad as a struggle as we are. Obviously they've maybe played harder games. We've only played uh, two games whereas they have played three, so... We should be uh, feeling confident going into this with only having uh, what is it? Only having played two games, less games, of course. We're going to change the team up a little bit. We are going to get Svansberg into the setup since Shackleton is a little bit on the haymare. Uh, Dan James is a little bit injured. We've got Bamford starting. And so this is the team we're going to line up. Melia and stuff. Let's get right into the game. And see how we can do against the mighty, terrible Everton that lost 4-1 yesterday to Liverpool. Which was very funny. Because Liverpool dominated. I was at the Dundee game at the time. Oh, Liverpool dominated. But here we go, come on. Let's see the formation change work to its best. As come I on. We need big chances, big goals. Lots of them as well. It's fine, I don't mind the boys playing out from the back. It's good, Cooper. Bamford. Turnbull. Oh, 
ah, oh, Svanberg won't get there, but it's unlucky. It's good play. It's that's the sort of style that I want to see. That is really good though. Oh, well done. That's why that's fine. That's fine. We will play that all day, every day. It's what you want to see from the lads. It's exactly what you want to see. I'm shocked that Norwich are sitting fucking third right now. What is going on in this league table? Just need to show a bit more determination in games at times. I think maybe we need to turn off the frequently like, time wasting or... I don't know if I've even got that on. Do I have that on? Do we have on time wasting? Uh, I would sure hope not. Oh, we do sometimes. Well, let's turn that off. Maybe give us a better, uh, better chances because we're not really just holding the ball, trying to weigh and time waste. But yeah, I, I, I'm I'm happy so far. We've been the better side in terms of XG. I haven't had a chance yet, but we have been the better side. We'll give our ourselves credit somewhere. We are going to take off. Jack Harris and play uh, Ra, Ra, what's his name? Rodrigo on that left hand side as Man City take the lead against uh, Southampton. Away to, away to uh, Everton is never an easy place to go. The toughest stadium, I can't remember the name of the stadium, but it's not easy, especially when you are Leeds. And Luke Aylin's doing stupid stuff like that that will warrant a penalty to Everton. A hundred percent a penalty because I know what football managers like. It, it's, uh, oh man. Yeah, penalty. Come on, Melee. Show me what you're worth. Show me all you're worth. Melee, come on. Oh, he has. Let's go, Elan Melee. What a freaking save that is. And goal line technology at its best. Showing us that it's not uh, gone past that line from about 50 million yards away. <laughs> but so we move. Can we please get something going our way in this one? We really could use a bit of spark somewhere from someone. Uh, if we bring on... We'll bring on Jamie Shackleton, see if he can actually do something. He played a war, a really bad game the last time around. But maybe that's just my fault for playing such a weak midfield. As we throw it straight to them from Junior Firpo. But it's fine though. As they punt it straight to us. Cooper taking his time. It's fine. Ah, Calvin, come on. Firpo, that should be yours all day. Come on, lads. Defend. Maybe. Counter. Maybe. It's Digne. Ah, will be... Digne. Uh, I don't like this. I really don't like this. Calvin Phillips. Calvin Loon. Bamford picks it up though. Go on. Rodrigo. Svanberg. And again, we give it away. What are we doing? And then we go level on points with uh, Everton if it stays the same. Well, sorry. We go within a position of Everton. Fucking hell, that was close. We really need to start getting some highlights. No highlights to show for anything. I know it's the first game in the change of shape, but come on. That's too easy. Oh man, I'm so glad he took that so early. Bring off Phillips for strike. See what that does. Probably nothing. It's a highlight though. With two minutes to go. Maybe a late winner. Go on, Luke Halen. Luke Halen! Oh, that would have been some goal from Luke Halen.
But instead, it turns into their goal kick. I love how we lo love it to leave it late. Rafinha. Ellen again. Svanberg. Strike. Furpo. It's a corner. Come on. We've been practicing corners. Rafinha to deliver. As there's no set piece taker that is right footed there. I love the time wasting going on. As Cooper hits it straight into the hands of the Everton goalkeeper. I mean, Melia making that save is the highlight of the game. And to be honest with you, we'll take a draw. Considering the uh, the fact that we conceded a penalty. And a stupid penalty from uh, Luke Allen to concede. It's just a shame that we couldn't capitalise on the fact that he made the save and maybe we should have scored more. Uh, I really do think we should have scored at least one in that game. But the chances in the XG... Gotta be putting one away, man. Gotta be putting one away. Maybe it's a case we change uh, Bamford's role. Put more of his poacher than a pressing forward. I am a little bit unsure. But Man City having a shaky start. Maybe we do have a chance against Man City, considering they lost, they lost their 1-0 win in the 92nd minute to Southampton, who were down to 10 men for 20 minutes by that point. Some interesting signings available, maybe getting a Joe or Abel. The, the defender from, uh, Bal uh, what's that, Cagliari. Looks decent, 2.5 star already. Maybe one for the future. But yeah, if we want any chance of being City, we're going to need to do a heck of a lot to to upset Manchester City and Pep Guardiola's Manchester City, of course. So the Data Hub is available. And we can now see all our reports and, uh, and we're close to averages. We're close to averages and everything. Our crossing them was absolutely fascinating, apparently. Uh, lots of crosses, but all inaccurate. Most of them are inaccurate, anyway. Um, not a shock to see Liverpool, lots of crosses, but accurate crosses. Uh, we complete a large number of passes. With Strowman and Eto in the back. We had strong momentum in the match between 47 and 74 and Leeds Worst Beard came in the first half. I like this though. We can see no goals. Um, in the last five matches we can see two goals. Is that what that means? Or no, either that or we've scored two goals. It says two goals. I'm not too sure why it says two goals, but... Um, oh, it's in the last five games, so Vlahovic and stuff. But yeah, so it's not looking terrible. We are on the up as a whole. It doesn't seem like it. But if we can get anywhere in the top ten, I will be absolutely astonished this season. I think a top ten, top nine finish, considering Leeds, I think, finished tenth last season. I think uh, at least better than that or getting the same is exactly what we want. I mean, top half is probably a guarantee that we have to get because of how poorly we've done in the Carabao Cup. Because the board are really disappointed with that one. And it does come down to January potentially as well in the future when we we get to that sort of stages. Maybe selling a player could be vital. Calvin Phillips could be one of those players that we do see leave the club just because of how how much money it looks like we could get. Especially when City came in for that £47 million bid for the lad. I do believe we could have improved the team quite a lot, but... There is always another solution to every problem. There's more than one to every problem. That's the way I look at things. Especially in Football Manager, because there's always a problem that needs fixed. 
So here we are at Man City and we are playing our setup with Luke Ailey, Melly, Laurenti, Cooper, Furpo, Phillips, Turnbull, Savanberg, Rafinha and we are playing Rodrigo over uh, over Harrison and then of course Patrick Bamford up top. Man City is never going to be easy and that there is a fine example of that as we go 1-0 down. Maybe offside? Is it offside? No, it's, we go 1 0 down to Jack Grealish. Masterclass. That is just wow. Like, wow. Like, fuck me, man. What can you do? What can you do? But instantly, we've got two shots on goal, and it's already looking better. Ederson just seems to be having the game of his life. Four shots on target. Four shots. But again though, this is looking a lot more promising. Already I'm seeing like like more shots than than City and more shots in general in any game at the start in the first 20 minutes anyway. It's just a shame that we decide to do it in a game where it's very unlikely to come away with anyone, anything. But without City are playing recently, maybe there is a chance. As Calvin Phillips goes down injured. Please don't be the highlight of that. Aylin, Rodrigo, it's a goal! Oh, is he offside? Oh. Is he offside? Aylin, Rodrigo, is it going to count? Yes, it's counted. Come on, lads. It's pretty shit though because we just lost our probably our best player. It's fine though, we've got Svanberg that can play that position. As that deep lion. I mean you have seen the pass out to Aylin, which was unbelievable. But this is a really solid performance so far. This is this is what this is more like it. Getting on the front foot. Being that team to beat. Really good ball from Aylin and then a header from Rodrigo. Fantastic. Couldn't have asked for much more, but if we win today, I'm pretty sure we might go above City or level on points with them anyway. But that's a long way away as Bamford wins it back, but gives it away instantly as he rushes the pass. Aylin wins it though. Go on. Go on, Luke. Play it to Rafi. Give it to Rafinha. Whips it back post. Oh, Rodrigo again. It's 2 1. Oh, what a header. Rodrigo at the back post seems to be the deadly threat. What a ball that is again from Luke Aylin. Have a look at this again. Oh, what a strike that is. Honestly, that's a header for the. For the. I don't know, for the. For the history books, maybe. <laughs> what a. What a header, though. Right, no foul here. Cooper wins it. Let's come to Roger though. Just need to not. Just to hope City just 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 ease off on their prep. I mean my words here. I shouldn't have said anything. As Jurente has just decided, Do you know what? We're playing that good. We just need to score a goal from them. What a ball from Walker though, honestly. Deadly and then it goes through Melly's legs. I don't I don't know what Laurenti's doing though. I really don't know what Laurenti's doing. So so far we've dominated the first half and yet yeah, City are 2-2 two -two with me. Uh with a 0 0.09 XG. And two shots, two on target, two goals apparently, but we all know the story of that. Unfortunately. But yeah, no, that would be a very good two points. If we can get a we'd be on we'd be a point behind City with an extra game. But it's Man City we're talking about. It's not a Norwich. Even though Norwich are playing really some 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 strange football as they hit that shot over. Pardon me. Hmm. 
Rodrigo might be on a hard check, but I think it's going to time, be time to bring him off. Uh, we're going to bring on uh, Jack Harrison. Maybe one for the future, though, when, when playing Rodrigo. Rodrigo on the left-hand side is that inside forward. To be there at the back post. It's Foden scores from Man City. And makes it 3-2. Which is extremely sad, but... It is probably just the quality that beats us there. Foden makes a brilliant run. Merlion, no chances, and off the post. What can you do? Urene's having a stinker. Come on, lads. Push for it late. Go on. Go on. Let's push for a point here. Go on. Come on. It's like his confidence was shot, Urente. But in the end, though, I mean, it's not a bad result. It's a it's a loss, but it's a loss that you could take on the chin because we absolutely deserve to win that one. We deserve to win that by a country mile. One of those ones where, like, just the bare team. Six weeks it is for Calvin Phillips, which is a really bad one. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm going to have to leave it here. If you have enjoyed today's video, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't or done so already. And this is going to kill us in the next one. And I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.